Hey, I'm Diana Mata here at the Oxnard College Performing Arts Center, here at the Latino Thought Maker Series. We'll be talking to two actors known as Lisa Vidal and Enrique Castillo, hosted by Rick Najera. Stay tuned. Questions and Yeah. Could you uh, teach boxing to this guy? Eric Roberts. Eric Roberts. Yeah. And Eric Roberts actually did a show of mine, and the reason I met him is he had a Latino kid, a basically working with him, him for years, he said, Rick, He's like a son to me, where you find him an acting job. So Eric Roberts, so you see these connections all around, and, and it does give you hope, because I know Pitbull. Pitbull actually is m moving a little bit more into entertainment, and, and in terms of away from music, and he's still kind of his music, but he's trying to do films, he's trying to do TV. It, it is a process. What I would, in that respect, I mean, when you, when you did mention particularly actors, I mean, you name me how many that you can single out that would rival the kind of revenue that, or income that a Tom Cruise or a Brad Pitt or a Johnny Depp can have. Who do we have? Antonio Banderas is maybe one, but then, you know, I wouldn't even say that. I wouldn't even say that. Right he, he can't, on his own, cannot bring light a film no. like a Tom Cruise can. And so, when you talk about are they contributing, they're, to me, I, I, I can't look at them that way. I have to say, they're doing what they can by being an example for someone like you who's starting out and say, okay, there's a Latino that's doing it, you know, hopefully by the time you get there, there are many more like you, and then you will be able to, as an artist, give back and produce films and stuff, because at this point, there is really no one that can do that. They're, they're, they're I think, I, I also think, first of all, it's a choice that you make. I made the choice because it's just something I wanted to be more focused on. Um, because I had played, you know, pl plenty of the more negative stereotypes when I was younger. And I started seeing myself sort of being put in this kind of bubble of a stereotype, you know, because I had played, I did a film called I Like It Like That, and I kind of played like the girl around the way, you know, bimbo-y kind of, you know, boobs and all that business, and it was a pretty big film for back in the day, and we went to Sundance and all of that, and suddenly I started seeing the, the powers that be of sending me out, trying to pigeonhole me into that. Suddenly that's what I had to play. I didn't want that to happen. So, I, yes, I did make the choice to start pulling away from that. But that doesn't mean that you have to say no to those roles. That's not what I'm saying. For me, the character has to be important. There has to be a story, there has to be a reason. I was no longer willing to be the fly on the wall with the boobs hanging out just because was my point. You know what I mean? And, and I do think that, um, I think times are changing within the Latino culture where there, there was a real ignorance in the old school days about keeping everybody separate. Oh, yeah, you have Dominican or Mexican or whatever. I, I don't see so much of that mentality anymore. There's more of a coming together, finally, I think, where let's create together. Like Enrique was saying, you know, Cubans, Puerto Ricans in the film is, you know, working with a Dominican, whatever. There's more of an, a mindset of, let's stop working against each other, let's start working together. Yeah, I, I think that's true, and also, I'll, I'll tell you this, I was you years ago, and I had $30 in, in my okay. bank, and, I started writing. It didn't, it didn't cost me thirty dollars to write, and I wrote a play. It was Latin's Anonymous back in the day, and uh, we had twelve hundred dollars. We all put together, all four of us. We did the play at Los Angeles Theater. Here I am with Ken Sugar after our Latino Thought Makers series, and my question is: Any more um, actors or singers or whatever that are going to be coming here in the next couple months or well, well the list? <laughs> Just like we had the last couple of years, we'll have one of these events every month. So we'll be putting out the schedule probably in the next couple of weeks. Even I don't know who yet, because Rick is still making the deal. I, I have 
have ideas. I have some people in mind. We'll talk, okay. we'll talk later. Let me know, and we'll, uh, we'll talk to the big guy over here and see what he can do. Right. But yeah, we're working on this here on the whole season right now. So in a, probably two to three more weeks, we'll have a list for the whole year. Right. Thank you, thanks, Ken, for all this. Even for us, all these students, I know. Bit by bit, we'll get more and more people in here, and there's 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 a lot of Latinos. <laughs> So, so we have to get people in. <laughs> All right, thank you. You're very welcome. Diana. Diana. Enrique. Okay. Ready? Go. Here I am at the Latino Thought Makers, Latino Thought Makers with, with Ernesto. And one question I have for you is, you said you were... What I heard was you worked in the fields for at the beginning. You started working and everything. So the advice I want, that question I want to say is, what advice would you give to another farm worker working on the fields? I mean, I've worked on the fields, and to not and give look up. At you now, right? <laughs> <laughs> to not give up or what? Anything you like? What would you give them? Like advice? You're saying if you said you were the only actor. You, there's nobody else in your family acts. So how would? Right. Right. Uh, I'm I'm the only one pursuing this with interviewing or acting or whatever and I'm also the only one and people tell me you're, why did you choose that that they're not gonna go you're you're they're too famous or something or you're not gonna get there. what advice would you you're, you started from the bottom up so <laughs> <laughs> anything you'd like to say to them well I mean you know like the comment uh, started from the bottom up un un unfortunately in our society that's how we view yeah. things like like whatever the work that farm workers do is not as important as somebody else in a factory or in or on a d behind a desk but you know that's not so we shouldn't look at things that way um, in terms of in terms of young people and the choice they would make to become an actor or not to do it obviously my having been a farm worker my whole family were farm workers i'm the only one in my family in this position so it is not impossible and so the choice can be made all i think nike says it best right just, just do it, it. Just, just do it, do it. Yeah. um and even cesar you know si se puede si se you know puede. so and the, the, it's not like it's it's a dream or or that it is uh, no it's not for me it's not possible well yeah, well even a dream i mean dreams are for people who sleep like the song says you know but here I am, I was a farm worker, there's nobody in my family that taught me how to do this, so I just made a choice. And um, I believe that I can do it, and if you believe in yourself, and you should, because we're like n no different than anybody else, if, if, in, if somebody can have a career in the entertainment industry, well, I can okay, too. Yeah. I can too. You're welcome. Good luck. Perfect. Okay, ready? Yeah. I'm here, I'm here at Oxnard College Performing Arts Center here at the Latino Thought Makers. I'm here with Lisa Vidal, who just gave her whole, let's say, life story and inspired me, myself. And you talked a lot about, you talked, one of the questions was asked, you said that an advice you would give yourself was to believe in yourself, to don't take no for an answer, just, like, just keep on going. Why? Was that because you've had a lot of no's in your life, or like rejections, or why would, why did you say that? Like, Yes, um, I said that because um, we're in a difficult industry, and sometimes people say things that maybe make you doubt yourself and doubt your talent and your capability and um, you have to be your biggest fan in the sense of really believing your go your dreams and your goals and going for it and not letting no discourage you to the point where you give up and you really have to own that and believe that and that confidence is kind of what carries you through you know the, the tough times and when you don't get the job. 
Another question is, okay, you talk, have you played a role that you said, wow, I can't Have you played a role that you said, I'm playing this role I never thought I would get. Like, what role is it and when was I kind of feel that way about every role I play. I mean, you played a firefighter, a fire. I mean, what? yeah. I mean, absolutely. I, 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 I really and truly do appreciate every single time I get a role, and I get to be something different. To me, that's really special, and I feel very lucky to be doing that. And um, I get to play a doctor or a lawyer or you know uh, the first lady of the United States or a producer of a show and. I'm gonna get a role. I kind of feel like, wow, I can't believe I got this. This is great. So for Latina woman girls, just keep on going and absolutely, you have to believe in yourself. You have to believe your importance in the world and your place in the world and um, in anything you do. I believe that's that's with anything you do. Soñar grande, va a ser. That's right. Soñar grande y por qué no? Y si ellos, por qué no me? Right? Sí. Bueno, pues muchas gracias. Gracias por venir y de Fox. Nada. Sí, muchas okay. gracias. <laughs> gracias. Hey, we just finished doing the Latino Thought Maker series, hearing Lisa and Enrique, their life stories, their acting careers, everything they've done up to this point, and the inspiring stories they've said. And me personally, inspiring and just showing us that not to give up si se puede and stay tuned for any more latino thought series makers and let's see how this goes